Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'll be checking No Man's Sky on Xbox Series X. This game received a big update yesterday, update 4.0, and I think they call it uh, Waypoint as well. So uh, without any further ado, let's check this game. It's been a while since I played that game, to be honest with you, so I don't even fully remember it. I did play a couple of minutes before obviously I started recording this video, but um, that's pretty much it. So let's play the game. There's single player experience, there's multiplayer over here. Um, and let's maybe start a new game. So th there's a couple of modes, there's norm normal mode, so um, yeah, I mean, you have to gather resources, manage systems and uh, uh, craft things, right? Uh, there's a relaxed mode, which you have to do the same, but there's uh, apparently fewer systems to manage, lower cost, that's great. And there's this new mode, creative mode, where you can explore without any, uh, no cost, no damage, no limits, right? So it's all about exploration of planets and uh, space. So that's kind of cool. There's also some other modes, custom, uh, there's survival mode over here, community expeditions, so there you go, so we can check it as well. I mean, this game, gr you know, has grown since it first launched back in 2015, I want to say. It was a bit of a mess back then. Um, it launched on PlayStation 4 and PC first, uh, then it got, uh, re it, it released on Xbox like two, late, two years later, I think. But it was much better experience after two years, of course, so... Then it got uh, enhanced for One uh, X. Now it's been uh, enhanced for Series S and X. By the way, I will have a video about this game uh, on running on Xbox Series S uh, today as well, later today. I'll, because I'm kind of curious how this game uh, is running on Xbox Series S too. Oh bloody hell! Uh, it's greenish, yellowish everywhere. God damn. Okay, so first off, um, the game is running at 60 frames per second, and that's no surprise because I think even Xbox One X was running at, uh, this game at 60. But there seems to be a little bit of a judder here and there. And also, I tested this game on different planets. What I can tell you is that it all depends on the planet, and I guess because this game is using procedural generation, Meaning that it's not handcrafted by developers, right? So it's it's like the game is uh, actually generating this the, these planets, and you know each planet is different, and depending on the number of objects and and vistas and you know draw distance and stuff, that may actually you may be getting different performance on different planets, right? So it's not really the best way to optimize the game if you know if, when it comes to performance right maybe they've got some limits here but there's also a, a quite a quite a lot of, of popping which is kind of weird and by the way this is um, an xbox one a native xbox sorry xbox series uh, game because if you look at uh, this file info we've got app model gdk gen scarlet that means that this is a native uh, series S and X version. A uh, game is not big, 13, al almost 14 gigabytes. So it's it should be fully optimized for series S and X, but it's really not. Uh, I mean, it's enhanced and kind of uh, a, a little bit optimized, I guess we can call it. But I mean, yeah, I, you know, I, actually, this planet is this planet is pretty bad. Actually. It's the worst planet I've been on, to be honest with you. When it, you know, when it comes to performance. So you know what? Let's let's actually uh, take a seat and uh, let's go to some other planet. <coughs> let's eat things up a little bit. So that's the booster. Okay. So Rod's first system. There you go. What have we got here? That's some asteroids. Oh, that's a planet. That's a nice planet. So that's the planet I just took off from. There's something there. There's space. Space station, actually. Uh, this this looks like a, a bit of like a moon. Yeah, let's pick something more colorful. 
that wasn't actually. Oh, there, there it is. Let's go over there. Yeah, this one looks interesting. I can, actually, we can use this uh, pulse engine, and that uh, means that. Normally we would have to travel like on a normal speed probably for like 15 minutes and uh, thanks to that pulse engine it will take around 30 seconds, 90, 80, 70. And um, the, 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 the pulse engine will, will uh, stop working as soon as we reach the planet. You, you don't have to worry about that, right? It's automatic. At least in this particular place. There we go. Oh, bloody hell, it's night over here. Where do we land? Anywhere, I guess. I wanted to land somewhere near... Uh, somewhere near... Some lake or something, but... the X button and it lands. Hey, actually it's not it's actually not that bad. Hey, it feels like Christmas on <laughs> really. Uh Yeah, see, but th this this planet is full of details, and yeah, and that makes the actual game to tank the performance a little bit. I don't know what happened with all oh, game options because I remember that on Xbox One X there was like 1080p 60 option, and uh, but it's not here. There's no option, there's no performance options in this game. So I guess like for a, you know, I guess better experience I would, ex I, would um, I would recommend you playing this game on a VRR, on a TV that supports VRR, I guess. Yeah, some of these planets can be can look really really pretty like this one there's yeah this one looks really nice because when i when i played uh, a bit earlier today this game and it was like totally different planet it was there was just less detail right on it it was almost flawless 60 60 frames per second but as you can see the more objects it has to generate um, the it just uh, impacts performance which is a shame because you know um, it's uh, this it doesn't look as as like the most demanding game when it comes to graphics like even the, all these objects they 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 they, they, they are pretty much the same <coughs> Okay, so let's let's find some other let's find some other planet. Here. <laughs> bye bye, pretty planet. Unknown. 
you are not alone. Please identify yourself. I'm Sorry, I didn't leave anyone. That was interesting conversation. <clears throat> okay, so that's that weird planet. Check this planet. We will arrive there in 45 seconds. So stick around, guys. Yeah, it has like a, a ring around. Oh. A ring around it. Called it Jovi, Jovi. Just water. Okay, so let's check this one. I don't think I, I mean, <coughs> hold on, I don't want to enter this planet's atmosphere. seconds guys we are going to the moon <laughs> before NASA NASA does again oh they've been postponing these uh, SL, SLR I think they it's called a uh, space uh, SLR rocket for they've been playing it for like last six weeks I think so hopefully they will fly to the moon like this year still because I think they've got another flight scheduled for like end of October or like beginning of November. So everything is just getting delayed. Oh, I'm going to crash now. Okay. So this one looks like a desert. See, now, look, there's less objects uh, in this game now, on this planet, 
and it's smooth 60 frames per second almost smooth so the performance will depend on on a planet right so the more objects you will find on this planet there well i guess the worse performance you will get god damn that was not a that wasn't the best place to sit on look at this <laughs> okay cool so anyway guys um that's no man's sky there's like I think there's like hundreds of different planets to explore, everyone is different. Um, this mode is all about exploration, so there's like, you don't have to build bases if you don't want to and whatever, right? You can, as you've seen, like, you know, you, you can check these um, um, data sources, like, you know, whoever contacted me during that flight, you know, can go and check it out, it's, you know, he or she is on this planet. So we can go there and check what's going on there. So yeah, it's like like one big space adventure, right? And um, it's a shame that the performance is still, still not perfect on Xbox Series X. Um, yeah. uh, maybe, maybe adding um, these quality and performance options would not really be a bad idea, but yeah, they removed it. I know there, there was a performance resolution mode on xbox one x right it worked perfectly so i don't know why they did it why they did remove it from this version so anyway guys that's the video thanks a lot for tuning in thanks for support i really appreciate it and as always i will see you all in the next one take care